Hi, in this video, we are going to create a lambda function and we are going to trigger it based on our S3 event. So we can trigger lambda function based on different AWS managed services, but AWS S3 is what we are going to take for this tutorial. First step is go to AWS manage console, go to S3 and create a bucket. Since we are going to upload our data into bucket, you can just hit create here. You can give the bucket name, you can choose a region. I'm going to keep it default US East and you can just hit create. Once it's done, you'll see a bucket gets created like this. So we have a bucket, lambda sample bucket. Next is our IDE and we're going to create a lambda function. So I already have a IDE integration toolkit setup. If you want to know how I set up AWS toolkit in my IDE, you can check the video link in the description and you can follow the first three minutes of that video. So we'll just go to the new, we'll go to others, we'll select AWS here and if we write AWS, we will get AWS different kind of projects. So we'll select AWS Lambda Java project. We will hit next. Here, the most important thing is to choose the input type. So since we are going to use S3, we'll choose S3 event. We'll keep everything as default. Give a project name that is for your convenience. And then you can just hit finish. Once you finish, you will see a project like this already uh, gets created in your IDE. You can go to this function called lambda functional handler. This is our most important function called handle request. Here, what we are doing right now is we are just logging what kind of event we have received and what is its content type. If you want to input any logic here, you can write your own code. This is in Java. Uh, so next step is we're going, to, we're going to upload this lambda function on AWS. So for that as well, we can just use our toolkit. So we can go to Amazon Web Services, hit run function to I'm sorry, you can go to AWS web services, you can hit upload function to AWS Lambda. Here keep the region as same. Uh, so we kept US East, which is our bucket region also. You can choose any existing function or you can create a new Lambda function. So we are going to create a new Lambda function. We're going to name it new function and we're just going to hit next here. We need to have a role which has access to S3. So I'm going to keep this role. If you want, you can create a new role also. I already have a role created. So I'm going to keep it default Lambda basic execution. And then I'm going to hit finish. Make sure your role has a S3 access. If not, you can go to services. You can go to IAM here. And then you can choose your own role. And then you can add the AWS S3 access. For example, if I go to roles, I will have this lambda basic execution here and then I have the Amazon S3 full access. If you want, you can add, click attach policy and select Amazon S3 full access. So now I already have a lambda function uploaded. If you want, I, we can see it also. We can go to lambda and then we can hit. We can see a new function is created here. So next step is we want to link it to AWS S3. So uh, basically these are the triggers. So from left hand side, you can choose S3 and you can drag it here. So we chose S3. Now we need to define which S3 bucket we want to configure. So here, if you click, you will get the list of all the buckets. So since we only have one bucket, it came here, Lambda sample bucket. We want to do it for all type of event, basically uh, delete or create or save everything. So we'll just click on add and then we will save it. So now it's saved. Now we want to see whether our Lambda function is getting triggered on our S3 execution or not. So we'll go back to S3 and then we'll upload a image here. So we'll upload and then we'll click on add files and then we're going to choose any of the image here and then we're going to hit upload. So as soon as we upload it, we'll go back to our Lambda function this was our function so we'll see uh, whether our lambda function got triggered from the logs so we can hit monitoring we can click view logs in cloudwatch and we can see we got a log here and we see we uh, got received event this was our event and the content type which is image jpeg this was uh, logs we wrote here in our code so this is how we can integrate lambda with s3 very easily uh, if you want to do any additional work, we can write inside our Lambda function. Uh, if you have any doubt, please comment in the comment section. Uh, thank you for watching the video.